It's a talk of food to me. It's a me, a Mario, and my brother, Luigi. And we are gonna go down to the Italiano Restaurante Metucci's. Metucci's. So I say we jump in our Mario Karts. It's just a go kart. Well, whatever you say, let's go. Let's go! You will never catch me. It's me, a Mario. <laughs> Not again, Mario! Uh, Italiano restaurant de delicioso. Delicioso, yes, yes. It was a magnifico. Oh, magnifico, it's, yes. A, it's a little too spicy, though. Too, uh, too much mula. Too much mula. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. very good for the, the stomach. Not, not Wario, Mario. Luigi, not Wario. <laughs> we have a grading system, eh? We, we have where it's a pass, a try, and a return. What, what would you say? I say it's a return. I would say it's a return as well. Maybe for just the appetizers and the drinks, eh? Yeah. Spoil. I'm not Mario. And I'm not actually Luigi. But here's our actual full review of Matucci's. As we already said, expensive. Delicious, but expensive. And appetizers where it's at. So, uh, happy hour bar area, you get appetizers. I think you can get them anywhere pretty much. But, five bucks each. And there is only like two appetizers that I have not liked. I think it's like at the bottom of the menu and then the top of the menu. And one of them, it's like the tomato basil something and it was just in vinaigrette. And I don't care much for vinaigrette. And then tomato was like, I thought it was gonna be roasted or something. And it's, 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 I didn't care for it. And then the other one's like this thinly sliced meat. Carapaccio or something like that. Got a ah, I don't know. So, and that was, it was, it's just tastes like undercooked. Like it's like lunch meat, but it, but not like, I, it just tastes like undercooked. I don't know. Is it Capicola probably? Probably, yeah. Okay, I didn't, yeah. I didn't care for it. Everything else though was phenomenal though. And they have, they have pizza, they have two different pizzas, and they're... So they're they, flatbread pizzas, right? Yeah, flatbread pizzas. Some of them go, like, they'll put them out, and they're like this, they're long, and then cut them into pieces like that. Or the, sometimes they'll give you an actual, like, small personal pizza for, for it instead. But either way, it is delicious. There's, I think, the sausage. The margarita. The margarita. So, like, either one, you're good with going. There's the beef tips. Those are good. A little spicy. They come with pita chips. Those are fantastic. Goat cheese. That's pretty phenomenal. Was, also come with some pita chips. Um, artichoke hearts, right? Arti fried artichokes. Yeah, fried artichokes. Yes, yes. those are amazing. Yeah, they're great. As well. Mm -hmm. Then we also have uh, truffle chips, which are like, you could tell they're actual sliced potato that they fry and then they have, there's like vinaigrette mm -hmm. as well as like some, some cheese the that they put on, on top it. Too, yeah. uh, so delicious. Those are also delicious. I think that's pretty much. Uh, that's it for I think that's most of it for appetizers. All, like I said, all top five bucks, top notch. Peaches, the pizza is the best one though. I think best for the price. What's too. that drink that we like to get there? Italian soda. The Italian soda with with uh, raspberry, 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 yes. Italian cream soda, be specific. Yes. Uh -huh. And then we ask for easy ice. Usually, too much ice because they load it up with the ice. But it is really good. Have a good usually we mixes it for me. Fantastic. All the flavors are pretty good, but we just get the raspberry. She always gets the, the spaghetti and meatballs. She's a very, uh, you know, she sticks to what she knows. Plain, simple. Sauce is amazing. It is expensive though. For like a bowl, for the bowl of spaghetti and meatball, it's like 16 bucks. And that's the thing is I've gone and I've tried different things because we go like almost every week, my wife and I, tried different things and it depends like what you should do. Look it up on the Google machine or Bing if you want to get those Microsoft points or whatever. Pictures so that you know what you're getting beforehand as well as the ingredients and stuff because many, like at least three times I got stuff pretty bland where I was like, I could have made this at home. This guy likes to get what you have, lasagna, is that what you're telling me? I, they only have lasagna on Sundays. I still have not tried it yet because it's oh, only okay. on Sundays. So, but I want to try it on, I want to try the lasagna because they only have it on Sundays. They ran out last time I went. But the last thing I had was, it was pretty much, it was kind of like spaghetti, but it was sausage. It was pork sausage. And it was really good. Like I said, their sauce is really flavorful. 
desserts are divine, okay? They make their own, they have their own gelato, right? Their gelato is phenomenal. They've had blueberry only once and it's the best gelato and just like amazing, it's phenomenal. That does sound amazing. They have other stuff though. A lot of their gelato is really good though. My wife had gelato the last time, like salted caramel and something else. Um, so uh, salty and sweet type thing going on. Mm -hmm. um, that was really good. But my personal favorite is the lemon tart, which is pretty much like a lemon, it's kind of like a lemon square sort of, but it's, it's actually more of a circle. And then they have like a marshmallow puff on it that you could tell they just went real quick and blew it out. So it's kind of like a s'mores almost. And then they have the raspberry drizzle with a few raspberries on the side. Mmm, like we said. Delicioso, right? It, it is. It was. I think, it was phenomenal. I think it's Spanish, but uh, no, it, it probably is Spanish because I, I don't actually know Italian. <laughs> don't I, know. I know, but uh, <laughs> this guy is actually the guy that saved me with this place. When I first went there, I was kind of pissed with the prices. It is really expensive. It's expensive for spaghetti, for spaghetti and meatballs. I was expecting a big bowl of it too, like a big. I was like, okay, if I'm paying sixteen bucks, I want a big bowl of spaghetti. And right. Rice, you know, fill me up. You know, fill this. Fill the Wario machine up, right? <laughs> <laughs> now you're confused people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I just did. <laughs> but, uh, but when I went back just to try the appetizers, that's what really saved me on this mm. place, especially having that Italian cream soda. Yeah, so I, I would I would highly recommend just at least trying this place because um, you know there's just so many things on the menu that can be like a hidden gem, and I think this is what you. You and your wife. My wife go, yeah, almost every week. I've also had this thing they call the Twinkie, and it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a sponge cake with sweet cream cheese or something. And I, you know, I, all I know is that it was, it was amazing. That was also phenomenal. So it is delicious. It is pricey. I won't deny that it's pricey. Like I said, especially if you get the regular menu stuff, you're going from 16 to up to like 25. You know, depending on what you want to get, and it's not the portions are not big so that's the thing not big portions for uh you know cost but you stick to the appetizers which are always great always great and italian soda and desserts and you're you're golden so we have that rating system as we talked about in yes italian. rating system return try try pass and so i i want I kind of want to give it a strong, a strong return, but I'm, I'm going to say it's just a return, just because of the, just because not everything I've gotten from there is really great, mm -hmm. you know, and it was still expensive and it's not a lot. I would say it's a strong try. If, if you were just going for maybe appetizers and drinks, that's probably a return item for you. Just uh, spending $5 on an appetizer and a drink, whatever. So that's our review for Matucci's Italian restaurant. Let's go on the go-kart, eh? Uh -huh.